silipin na natin ang ating highlights doon. First quarter of action in this game where both teams were looking to bounce back. It was Marcus Blakely and the rest of the Star Hotshots going out on the run. James Yap delivering on that layup. Marcus Blakely ended up this ball game with 20 points. He had a number of those dunks when he got it open. But he'll need some help from the other guys to be able to consistently win Barca Star Hot Shots. You know, it's one thing to be able to get points. You know, James Yap, nakita natin yan later on. PJ Simon, we only saw him really in the first first two quarters, not really still able to break into the scoring column for the Star Hot Shots. Four points nga lang, na produce na ni PJ, and that was all in the first quarter of action. La mga Miral ka 19 to 18. We head into the second quarter. Andre Emmett getting it done. Andre Emmett, you know, it was a great effort for him. I liked how he picked his shots a lot better in this ball game. He ended up with 27 attempts. 15 out of 27, actually, in the field goal percentage. Oh, field goal. Uh, so, you know, maganda dito kay Andre Emmett. Then he was able to get his teammates involved. Plus, he was really helping out dun sa defense. Hindi lang defense, yung, hindi lang offense, yung pinakita ni Andre Emmett. But even on defense, he was really trying to help out Meralco. He mentioned it, maliit silang opponent, so kinakailangan magtulong-tulong sila. Ito yung shot of the night, ano? Andre Emmett, just a step and a half beyond the half-court line, buries the three to bring them to within one at the half. Well, that was a big shot para dun sa Meralco Bots. That's why Coach Tim Cohn was very upset na walang nag-pressure dun sa tirang yun ni Andre Emmett. Pero pagdating naman ng third quarter doon, nakita natin yung inihingi. Yung hinahanap talaga ni Coach Tim ko na aggressiveness mula sa Star Hotshots. Problema, sinabayan din naman sila ng Meralco. Well, sinabayan sila ng Meralco, and even in that third quarter, you know, when Meralco played uh, a lot of zone defense, nakatira sa labas itong Star Hotshots. Pero yung effort, yung pagkakuha ng mabilis na rebound and then pushing that basketball, Meralco able to get into fast breaks. You know, in the third quarter, Star Hot Shots knocking down four three-point shots. Alex Maliari providing another solid game for the Star Hot Shots. Kaya naman nasungkit nila kalamangan. 64-63 heading into the final frame. At dito, digdiga na. Palita ng palita ng kalamangan. Biggest lead was only four points. Bago tayo magtapos with... The huge breakdowns on defense in Star Hot Shots and the huge hits by Miralco and then the final sequence, mamaya mamaya, mapapansin natin, ito yung mga turnover. Well, those turnovers really hurt itong uh, Star Hot Shots because Miralco was able to get into fast breaks and make it a lot easier for them. It was difficult for Miralco to score dun sa half-court set nila. It wasn't as easy as I'd like to say. But yun na nga eh, in this one, this is the thing that Andre Emmett na kailangan niyang matutunan that he's, he'll either have to come out of that a lot harder or call a timeout. Blakely, down by two, puts it up at the buzzer. Yang put back ni Ping, wala na pong oras yun. So kahit pumasok yun, wala na. Coach Tim Cohn, visibly frustrated. Frustrated, not with that last play. Maybe a little bit because hindi napuntahan yung bola. Pero, ang frustration ni Coach Tim Cohn ngayon is that team effort, yung desire of his star hotshots to be able to go to that next level.